Alright, today we are going to be looking at Peppermint OS 7. Now this distro is um, liked by a lot of people and i got to be honest, quite easy to see why. Um, the first thing to know is, completely but well, almost irrelevant, um, the boot logo on this OS is very nice. Slightly relevant, but it is. Um, now this distribution aims to be something of a web OS on account of the fact it's got ice and then you know that sort of thing pre-installed like you know basically it's kind of a web OS um, although don't let that fool you it is obviously relatively powerful so the first thing I'd say to take a look at is what applications they have out of the box now for a start I'd say we should look at the favorites and they have this settings panel quite a nice one it is as well um, now I don't know if it's custom but I've never seen anything like it before so I'd have to assume it is got stuff like your Firefox look even so uh, it's pretty good got a relatively nice set of wallpapers though honestly I must admit the uh, nicest is probably the one it's already using um, as you can see, XFCE has been uh, configured a little bit by them. Because um, <clears throat> as you can see, the windows in the background are actually transparent. Uh, they're also transparent when you move them. Very nice. There's also some... I'm not particularly a fan of the window borders, but that's fair enough. Um, you could obviously change those. Moving down, we've got the whole sort of selling point of this distribution ice basically you can kind of make your own web apps uh, you just punch in whatever you want to you know whatever site you want to use now I believe um, Apricity also comes with Apricity OS that is also comes with this so if I wanted to uh, put this in and just hit apply and as you can see internet now we have a Google web app you just open that up so realistically you can make web apps whatever you wanted like um, you know your favorite social media site whatever um now me personally i'm like a huge fan of web apps but you know to each their own um, moving down further we've just got all these standard stuff a software manager um which may take a while to open synaptic you know what synaptic is vlc a terminal pluma which seems like a bit of a star ish choice files and the firefox web browser um, which obviously open this up and works just fine, which would be quite important for a web OS. Now, I would suspect that this um, software center is possibly based off the Lubuntu software center or the Linux Mint software center. I do not know if it's custom. Possibly it is. Yes, indeed, it's Mint install. I never actually thought to check that, which is a bit daft. Um, but yeah, this distribution is based off the Ubuntu 16.04, so obviously it would be quite easy to get that installed. Um, also, another advantage of it being based off the Ubuntu 16.04 is it's quite stable, and it's supported for long enough. Um, obviously, stability being quite an important thing. Uh, you got all the standard stuff in your accessories. Nothing really out of the ordinary here. you got a screenshot tool, which is pretty cool. In your games, you've got some chess, uh, some Tetris, and you know, usual sort of games. In your um, graphics, you've actually got, I believe that is a web photo editor. So obviously this distribution is relatively lightweight while still being able to pack in load stuff because it links to a lot of websites. Which is another good thing, because this distribution is indeed lightweight and doesn't pack in loads of stuff like new image manipulation program because it uses a web thing. Um, You've got obviously a local image viewer and simple scan. Dropbox, which once again is a web thing. A BitTorrent client, which once again for a web OS, very important. A um, Firefox web browser, obviously important. Me personally, I'd have gone with Chrome or Chromium, but you know, I suppose Firefox is that bit lighter if that's what you're going for. And since this uses XFC, presumably that is what it's going for. And some peppermint stuff here a link to a forum 
which is quite useful uh, you know if you want any support or anything quite make quite obvious moving down into your office you've got your uh, Google Drive Google Calendar Gmail and that sort of thing now me personally I would have bundled a local office week since that's something that most people need but then again at the same time um, you could probably just go get that if you wanted it in your preferences you got a firewall configuration once again with a weird web OS quite useful um, not much else there you've got your sound and video you got your VLC pretty standard stuff and that's pretty much it I'm not quite sure if there's anything I missed um, doesn't quite work so well with VirtualBox but I booted up on real hardware just fine I'm not sure if I said, but the icon theme is great. I do not know if it's custom, but I suspect it is. Like I say, very nice looking distribution. Obviously, it's also quite light. And, yeah, that's Peppermint OS. I almost certain, if you're uh, into your cloud-based stuff, I almost certainly recommend you give it a look. Um, yeah, not going to be for everybody, obviously. But, you know... Uh, still a good distribution in its own right and that's about it thanks for watching